I'm Jerry Horton. I've lived in my 106 year old house here that's on the Historical Society for 53 years. I've lived in Fort Worth and within five blocks of my house for 68 years. My mother was mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, uncle, aunt. She was everything. My whole family. And we found this house, um, which is 2608 Carter Avenue. It's a big old tin room, a Victorian mausoleum on the Historical Society. We moved here when I was 19. My mother would not allow them to put a plaque on the front door. She said, if you old ladies come out here and try to put a plaque on my front door, I will call the police on you and file trespassing. <laughs> uh, this thing with Chesapeake started in January. Uh, Texas right away came up, on, came up on my porch and they said, we need you to sign this survey. And I said, what is it for? And he said, well, we just need you to sign survey. I said, is it for the street, for the city? No. I said, well, I'll take it to my attorney. And they said, well, we need it tomorrow. I said, well, I'll take it to my attorney if he says it's all right for me to sign it. I'll sign it. I don't know anything about legal things. He finally told me they were with Texas right of way. He would not tell me anything about midstream. Finally, I found out it was Texas midstream. And uh, then I found out that Texas midstream was a part of Chesapeake. Chesapeake wanted to put a pipeline. At that time, they told me it was a 16-inch pipeline down my front yard. He walks out and he measures from the sidewalk up to right here where this duct tape is and said this would be the 20-foot easement. And then he goes back here and says this is where the pipeline will be where this duct tape is. And I put it down so that I would know exactly where it was. Then I found out when they came out to survey, my property starts at my fence. From there out is the city's easement. So actually we had to measure from the fence up this way. The contract I somewhat agreed to was to write here 20 foot. When I didn't sign that, and Chesapeake sent me the letter that they were gonna condemn my property, it, they had changed it from the 20 foot to the 30 foot. And this is the 30 foot right here. And in the contract, it says they can tear down any building, anything that's in their way, their easement. So their easement's gonna come up right here. They're gonna tear my steps down, my wheelchair ramp, and my columns that go out here on either side. How am I gonna get out of my house? Do I have to jump off at 72 years old? Or am I gonna get a rope swing out there like tourism? My attorney said, don't sign anything. He said, don't sign anything at all because they will have workmen on your yard, they will have equipment, they'll have their supplies stacked all over your yard, killing everything. He said, the pipeline will kill your 100-year-old your trees. I have 300-year-old oak trees and one baby bearded oak tree out front. I love my trees. Even though they put in there, Miss Harton doesn't want her trees cut down. Uh, she doesn't want anyone on her property and everything I ask for. And then you turn the page over, two pages says we have the right to cut any trees down, any shrubberies that are in the way of the pipeline. Well, you've got multiple pipelines. Everything in your front yard is going to be in the way. I'm not allowed to plant any trees on it after that or any shrubs because they will, they will uh, conflict with the pipeline. Uh, these pipelines do leak. They are known to leak. They do blow up. So we are in a lot of danger from these pipelines. They do not need to be near anyone's home. We do have a map, which I think everyone needs to see. Chesapeake had come all this way, out of their way, from I-30 all the way over to the south side of Carter, down our front yards and then back down Sandburn, down their front yards, and then uh, down to the end of Scott Street. Well, it's I-30 Scott Carter. Why come 
all of this way over. Well, the only reason my attorney could tell me was that there's a bank over there, there's businesses, and they kept the money for attorneys. They're going to demand lots of money, big bucks. They looked at us for a poor neighborhood and figured we couldn't afford an attorney. I don't understand people like this, that they want to destroy. And they've done all this advertising to build up their, you know, their image, and then they come in and destroy their image by taking our front yards and serving me with eminent domain papers. I said, well, you know what you can do with your lawsuit, and that's not put it in your ear, and you know what you can do with your contract. But I'm caught in the middle, in all conscience, I'm old, I'm going to die. If the, if the thing blows up, you know, I'm just going to be in heaven with all my family. But with all of these neighbors, we have little children, we have all these little children. And what, what legacy are we giving them? to destroy their neighborhoods, destroy their homes, destroy our trees. My message to everyone in Fort Worth, and not just Fort Worth, but to everyone who reads this or sees this, crowd your city council hall. Go to every city council meeting. On every Tuesday we have a city council meeting in Fort Worth. The first two of the month are at 7 o'clock. Okay, the working people can flood that city council. They can get up speak and demand that the city council and the mayor work with Chesapeake and all of these petroleum companies, demand maps of where they're going to put their pipelines, make rules that they cannot go through residential areas and condemn them and put dangerous pipelines in their yards. And then the last two city council meetings on Tuesday are at 10 o'clock in the morning. All of, us, all of us senior citizens can get there. We can see the drive in the daytime. We can flood that, that city council meeting. We can sign and we can get up and speak and say, we want you to protect our homes and our residential areas. Uh, people don't want to give up their mornings. They don't want to give up their evenings. But they're going to give up their homes. <laughs>